Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I would like to give you a little insight into the Insights X. Insights X is a trade fair for paper, office supplies and stationery. And the fair is only open to trade visitors. This is just a small insight into the fair, a small selection of some exhibitors. Of which there were quite a few more, as you can see here in the pictures just after opening in the morning. And from a wide spectrum. But I have limited myself here in the selection to suppliers who are particularly interesting for me and the area of fountain pens. One exhibitor with a small stand was the Hemper Company. A small company that specializes in paper made from hemp. Paper made from hemp fibers has some advantages over conventional paper made from wood fibers. And it can be found in quite a few special papers. But here we are talking about paper for painting, drawing and writing. So you could admire some pictures on the hemp paper on the booth. And the range also includes notebooks. In a small test on site, the paper has also not reacted so badly. If you want a detailed test of this paper for fountain pens, please drop me a line in the comments. And speaking of paper, the Harmelin Group was also represented at the fair. This company is certainly known in our area for the Oxford brand. The paper is well usable for fountain pens. And it is used in books, pads, even sticky notes. Here they showed the latest product from Colibri, which simplifies and improves the wrapping of books, especially school books, in the retail shop. Actually simple, but great. When I think back to my school days, such protective films were somehow never suitable, unless you glued it together yourself. Fittingly, Pelican was also represented at the fair. A nice overview of the stationery was here for the retailers. Starting with a learn to write fountain pen to the more expensive products. What should certainly be interesting, the Pelican in Neo. A pen that has already been on the market for a moment as a ballpoint pen. What's new is that it will soon be on the market as a fountain pen as well. I liked the Aeneo on the on-site test. I'm looking forward to showing it to you in more detail in the near future. Of course the company online should not be missing. The large assortment which covers a wide range from inexpensive school fountain pens to high quality fountain pens with gold nibs was on display for visitors. Of course with special attention to the novelties. What caught my eye here was the accessory in the style black is colorful enough or schwarz is bunt genug with the tag black applied on black which looked very chic. In the higher quality range was then the new black cigar hair, a fountain pen in the classic cigar shape. The company Exocom de Clairefontaine was also represented here. And if the name doesn't ring a bell you will certainly know the brands Rodia or Exoclair or a browser. Not least because I rely on Rodia paper for writing tests, which I think is excellent for fountain pens. And accordingly, this booth was a pure delight for fans of paper as well. Countless notebooks and notepads, but of course also other papers and products from the entire range, which actually covers every area of stationery. Also represented was the company Cresco a stationary manufacturer from Poland. They exhibited the range of writing instruments, among them also some fountain pens. I didn't look at the complete assortment, but some of the fountain pens appealed to me visually. Last but not least a detour to a completely different area. And to the company Veloflex. Veloflex is perhaps known to some from folders, cases and other products in the fields of filing. The company shows here clearly that also in this area the environmental protection advances. And not only manufactured more environmentally friendly. For example, the well-known stable transparent pockets are PVC free. In addition, attention is also specifically drawn to the issue with the series Save the Nature, Save the Ocean. The Insights X was then rounded off by a few nice decorative ideas setups that create moods and present products, and a small photo booth for your own memories of the trade fair. 
a photo booth, by the way, which could be designed by everyone during the fair. All in all, a fair especially for the PBS sector. And thus, of course, also with some of suppliers who are definitely of interest to us. And for me, it was interesting insights, nice conversations and once again a few novelties. Maybe you will see more of some of them here. I hope this little insight was interesting for you and that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.